Hey guys, so in this video, I actually want to share with you the experience or recommended settings in calibrating the Dell UP2716 D monitor using the uh, X-Rite i1 Display Pro, right over here. Um, when I got this monitor, I tried to calibrate it using the um, the i1 profiler and uh, if you've calibrated some other Dell monitors, you know that there is a automatic display calibration option. So I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, unfortunately, that mode doesn't work well with, with this particular monitor because there is a, a screen brightness uniformity um, compensation function that actually gets disrupted when you actually use the automatic display calibration in the i1 profiler. And uh, so that's why I want to share with you how to actually calibrate this monitor by hand uh, using the manual mode. So let's get started. So I find the best way to calibrate this monitor in particular is actually make sure you are in the standard mode. Let's see. So we select perform color profile and make sure you're in standard mode. And that's a really great start point because everything else, since this monitor already come pre-calibrated, even though it's not an accurate calibration, it's very close. So um, calibrate based on that is gonna get you a much better result than if you actually selected some other modes to calibrate. Um, so over here, I have the um, i1 profiler plugged in and it already displayed my profiler. So it shows a whole bunch of um, information that what kind of devices you can calibrate. And of course we click next on the display. So over here, since I'm doing graphic editing, I like to keep it on the um, white point at D65. That's color temperature around 6,500. And of course this monitor have a very special LED, a white color gamut LED. So make sure you select GB LED as your um, LED um, as your LED type okay so the luminance the recommended setting is always 120 CD and um, if you work in a room that's brighter you can't see the screen well you can always change it to 140 and if you work in a dark room you can change it to 100 it all depends on your room um, your ambient light so we set it at 120, but when you finish and uh, the lighting changes, you can always just open up your brightness manual and change your brightness manually. So right now it's it's set the brightness set at 48%. That's about 120 CD. Um, so another setting is the tone curve, and I always leave it on default. Um, because I, I don't really go in and uh, and change a lot of settings. But for graphic editing, the standard default works great. The Gamma 2.2, that's a, a Windows Gamma profile. If you have a Mac, um, your Gamma will be um, one point something. It's brighter, I think it's 1.8. Um, I like to leave it at 2.2. And uh, of course there is Ambient, ambient light smart control, which you actually leave your calibration sensor on your desktop and uh, it adjusts the color or the brightness of the screen based on the ambient light it measures. Now, that's a neat feature, but I don't use it much. It is there, so you can use it. It's really cool feature to have. So once you have all those basic settings dialed down, we can click next. And uh, this is a screen where you can select whether you want to use the automatic display control, which, which actually works quite well for a lot of other Dell monitors, or the older models, at least. And uh, of course, this is the manual control to adjust brightness, contrast, and RGB gains. Um, I set it to manual because before when I did automatic, the screen goes, the screen actually goes crazy because I think some mode gets triggered and there's a manual pops up each time. So the the calibration sensor 
is not able to calibrate to a perfect color profile because of that manual pops up. So if we use the manual mode, we can make sure that no manual pops up and every value is adjusted to the best possible settings. So when we click start, of course you go to your classic screen calibration setting. So we have the calibrator on and um, over here, it asks you what kind of features, control features the monitor have. So of course for this monitor, it's very advanced. So it have contrast, RGB value, and brightness. So let's click next. It will start measure the brightness of the monitor and the contrast. And it will give you a value report. Okay. So see right now, the R and G, red and green is almost perfect. And we just need to actually go into the menu and bring up the custom settings and change the color a little bit. Okay, actually, let me try to adjust brightness and see if we can achieve a perfect value. So, See, there is this weird, there is this weird manual that affects all the um, readings that when you actually just changing modes, it pops up. So it's really, really annoying. Um, select the yes. So I turned that off in the standard mode and uh, let's see. And of course, at this point, when that monitor uniformity setting is turned off, every value gets to perfect automatically. Like I don't even have to do any other adjustments for the RGB setting and it's, it is in standard. So if in case it is not at a perfect value, you always have to go to custom color and go inside and adjust the gain all, I mean, adjust the gain by itself. So over here, I'm not gonna do that because the value is already perfect. So we go to next step using the standard mode. Okay, let's see. So RGB value is perfect. We click next. So now it measures the brightness. Obviously I have the brightness up a little bit more. So I'm gonna turn it down to match 120. So almost there. Uh, sorry, wrong way. So now it's set at about 121, which is almost perfect. Let's click next. So actually at this point, it, uh, it, it should start calibrate the screen based on all the preset values that we've done before. So when this is finished, it should give you a fairly accurate or I would say more accurate calibration than the Dell factory calibration. And, um, and that's, that's why I discovered, that's why I discovered that uh, LCD uniformity read setting is really affecting the monitor um, calibration. So once you turn it off, it doesn't act up anymore. Um, that LCD uniformity setting is only able to turn off and on in the standard mode. If you're going to Adobe RGB preset, sRGB preset, those presets, you can't turn that mode on or off. I'm not sure if it defaults on or defaults to off, but that's just something to consider if you actually want to have a calibrated monitor. So um, let's wait a little bit and for it to finish and we'll see the results. And if you guys are at it, you can also check my uh, other video for the manual system walkthrough for the, uh, the same monitor and as well as a unboxing video in my channel. And if you guys have any questions, just feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer for you. Okay, almost done. There's a minute left. And if you don't have a monitor, if you don't have a screen calibration tool, you should definitely get one. 
are put the link in Amazon uh, for Amazon. And uh, this is a fantastic monitor calibration um, calibrator. And uh, this software can be used on multiple monitors, which is great. So if you have more than one monitor, more than one PC, even your laptop, you should get this thing because it calibrates all your monitors for about $200. And it's well worth it because uh, you can ha always have a accurate color on your screen, which I think is most important for any kind of uh, serious work, even, even for business, okay? So when we finish, I ask you to, um, to close the, um, the thing to protect it. And uh, when we close it, it would say, okay, ready to go. And we hit next. Okay. So the screen is actually calibrated. And uh, when it's finished, you hit next. So right now it should generate a color profile for your monitor. And if you hit create and save, it says, do you want to overwrite? Yes, because um, I've already created the profile before, so I'm creating it right now just for a demo purpose. So there's the uh, comparison before and after. You can see the value difference very slightly. So slightly is good. That means the monitor doesn't need any serious calibration. It only needs fine tune, but it still can make sure your screen is displayed perfectly for any kind of graphic design and video editing purpose. And uh, once you're done, just close the window and you just finished calibrating your Dell UP 2716D monitor. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, have a great day.